good afternoon. And uh, thanks for being here, subscribing, and liking. So today, I uh, already got started, but uh, don't have it all done. I am installing what is the uh, JDM STI diffuser for the uh, 2002-2004 time frame uh, JDM uh, Subaru and uh, on to Old Blue 65 my uh, 2002 Subaru Impreza 2.5 TS race car so what I've already done is drill two holes here uh, from underside. This is where the bracket is not permanent, going to be the permanent setup, but uh, this gets me uh, to get a setup and see how it's going to work. But these two bolts and nuts I put in to attach to. I had to make this bracket. It's just a piece of steel plate. There's the bolts that uh, attach to that. Uh, it'll hold it there. I put two uh, uh, nut zerp or nuts um, zerps, basically uh, nuts on. Um, These will screw, these will screw up into there, so it's basically a nut. And uh, the bracket the, for the back side. This is a bracket I bought uh, from another company. Uh, the diffuser, everything I got from um, Rally Sport Direct. But this bracket is one of the mounting brackets it attaches to a point here that's on the. Uh, car itself so two bolts and nuts there to hold that in place then the diffuser the diffuser sits up here this position like this so the diffuser will sit here everything lines up and uh, hopefully it helps the race car a little bit we'll find out this season first events coming up in just about a month this is the uh, 22nd 23rd 23rd of February 2024 so just one of the changes on the car for the 2024 season I've already installed these white line sway bar stops there and there um, got a new uh, racing up front already installed Acoustic racing installed earlier this winter, so it's pretty simple. These two, this bolt here and that bolt there, come off. The brace goes up. This get tightened back down to uh, factory torque settings. So last year I had installed the uh, STI aluminum control arms. Those have been going great. The uh, BC Racing coilovers built by Redshift Motorsports. Doing great. I've got a new sway bar to install. I'll get that on video as well. The white line uh, front sway bar. I've got Super Pro steering rack bushings. And there's the uh, uh, anti-roll bar link kit 
uh, for the front. So this bracket uh, braces to keep the uh, sway bar from shifting side to side. See the uh, that little bracket that I had to make. I'm gonna get the uh, diffuser mounted on there, and then we'll figure out what I'm gonna do to hold that in place. I made actually take these nut certs and uh, put in place of these uh, uh, the holes up above, and then just thread the. Uh, bolt down into that as necessary. So put a spacer in there to kind of keep that evenly spaced. Normally this bracket, which I gotta find where I put that bracket, but the bracket that goes back here would attach to a uh, Cusco I think makes it bra brace that attaches across this area. This, the bracket would attach to that and then sit in that spot. But it's my race car, so I have no problem drilling holes in there, and we'll touch that. All right, so what I've done, went ahead and removed the bracket. The holes are drilled. I threw a little Rust-Oleum paint on there, and then this is the inserter for the nut inserts. See what I got one on there. What I'll do is that'll go up in the hole like that and then I'll tighten down and then it'll insert that so it's actually a pretty, pretty okay, so let's see there's the holes Clean out the holes a little bit. Right. Squeeze it tight. Tighten it down. Squeeze it tight. several times to make sure it's got a good crimp on it. <clears throat> now what have you got there? It's basically a threaded that's a threaded insert. Thread in a bolt. What I'll do is that bracket will thread in from the bottom. So let's do that other side. Hopefully this one tightens down. 
Feels like it is. Hello, dear. Hello. Good. The riv nuts. Yep, just got them installed. There we go. Both rivnets are installed. So, there's where they are. Not the ones that would be holding it in, but I got the bracket that I made attached to the bracket that goes with. So now I can put two bolts we go up through to hold this in place. Right there. And then the diffuser will attach to that. Alright, so it's installed. There, a bolts there, and the diffuser is installed. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.